Yo! In my last video, we spoke about how the water gun parts and the water guns are back for summer. However, I was actually on holiday at the time and the video wasn't quite what I wanted to put out. So today, I'm going to set up an automatic water gun farm so I can ensure that I finish my picture book before they disappear for another year. Now, I haven't actually set one of these up before, so providing I can get it fully working and optimal, I will drop a full guide on how to set it up so that you can finish your picture book too. But just very quickly, look how weird this is. My spawn point is invisible. I can deactivate it and I can reactivate it and it just won't become visible. I've also reinstalled the game, verified the game files, did the whole lot. But if I head to a different spawn point, the spawn point is there. So I'm not quite sure. Maybe it's a glitch with the canvas floors. But if I go back, the spawn point's just invisible. And the crazy thing is, there is an invisible chest here as well. So is this a glitch with things placed on top of canvas floors? Because these are the only two things across my entire game that are invisible. And they are also both on canvas floors but i also have a lot of stuff on canvas floors that haven't gone invisible so i'm not quite sure where the glitch is linked to but something is weird so i'm definitely going to go with a crazy mono farm here so i'm going to set up a breathing station here that leads them to a kill pit and we should be able to produce a mass amount of water gun parts from it now if you wanted to you could do this just with pets so that you don't actually need the breathing station but i want to make this as afk as possible so i'm just going to use breeders so that i could leave it. And I think I'll use a 3x3 three three killing box, which will basically mean that when the monos go in the water, they'll still run around a little bit, but they won't escape our box, which will allow us to collect all of the loot. So let's get some floors down inside our kill box, but I know a lot of people do struggle with getting floors in the right spot under the water. So here's a little trick. If you actually look under the water, you will see your floor's shadow, which means you could line it up nice and easily, and it will always go where it shows on the shadow on the floor. I know that may be a little bit confusing, but if you look at my shadow to the left, you can actually see the floor appear. So I know that the floor is going to go right inside that square when I'm about here. And I can do that all the way along as long as I just look out for where that floor is going to be placed. You don't actually have to do it like this. It is actually fairly easy to make sure it always ends up in the right place. But if you're having difficulty, it is a very easy way to make sure everything's going in the right place. Okay, so that seems pretty good. Now, I'm not even sure if this is fully going to work. We are going to have to do some trial and error with this. I'm a little bit worried about the buildup from the mono, so I'm just going to place some extra walls around just to ensure that they don't escape. Let's get some conveyor belts in here now to make sure they all lead the correct way. Now I'm going to use a double breeder setup for this. I'm going to use green monos to keep blue monos alive. And then we're going to use the blue monos for our water gun part. Purely because if we use green when they die, they will just heal each other and it will be mayhem. Whereas blue will still duplicate, still produce the parts, but will not heal each other. So I'm going to put another kill box right around the start here. Let's get our green mono breeder in, which is going to keep everything alive. And then I'm going to bring in a second breeder for the blue monos which is going to fall onto our conveyor belt okay that's kind of perfect so let's head back down this way then because we're going to need everything collected so the way i'm actually going to do this is i'm going to take away these three walls here and i'm going to bring in a large container now the reason i'm going to use a large container is because the absorbers now work on them so it will mean anything that's killed within this kill box can easily be collected so i'm just going to put an absorber on the very bottom left and the very bottom right that will definitely cover this whole area and we shouldn't have any loot getting stuck. All right, that actually looks kind of sick. Okay, now I also brought some downward conveyor belts with me because I thought if I put them here, that's going to make sure everything gets sent towards those absorbers. And then what I can also do is put them along the top to ensure that anyone who's going to fall over is sent straight back inside. It may look a little bit mad, but we can downsize as we go. <laughs> this looks amazing. Now, when I have figured all this out and I do a guide on it, I will make sure that it's suitable for console too. As I got a feeling this may be a little bit crazy right now. So this is what we currently have. We have our breeders that's going to bring our monos down and it's going to be brought into our kill pit. The kill pit's going to push them down into the water, but of course we need them to duplicate. So let's bring in a floor and I'm just going to place it in the middle here. Let's try this. Now, one thing I know with duplicating monos, which is a very handy trick, is monos still 
duplicate underwater as long as they are hit with a sprinkler. So instead of putting this in any awkward position where things might get stuck, I'm actually going to place down two here, remove this floor, which will cause them to bob up and down in the water and will duplicate them constantly. Sometimes my brain is huge. <laughs> and because we're going to be using very large monos for this farm, I wasn't able to use my absorberless kill farm. So also going to try a little trick here where I'm going to place this absorber on this wall as low as I possibly can, which should force all of the resources from this kill farm onto the conveyor belt. So now let's go ahead and place a wall back in there and that should be all set up perfectly. Now the moment of truth was all this pointless. Okay, here we go. The monos are on. Let's see how this works. Down goes the green one. He's going to die there. He's going to heal those top blue ones as well. Here goes the blue. We're going to follow the blue, which should head into there, be sent into those sprinklers. And that will duplicate when those sprinklers turn on. Come on. There we go. Oh, we're off. We're off. Yes. Okay. And now as they die, we should start getting water gun parts and it should all be absorbed as well. So let's take a look at that. So the loot's getting absorbed. Lovely. Oh, the monos are duplicating fast. Oh, there's some water gun parts. Let's go. Oh, here comes more monos as well. You may not actually need the breeder at all, but I guess we're just going to leave this for a moment. Let's see how crazy this builds up. Let's see how fast the loot starts coming in. I'm going to use my drone for this so the monos don't try and walk towards me. I just want them to be idle doing their own thing in there. So as you can see, we're getting a bunch of water gun parts, a bunch of eggs, and the monos are still going. They're still duplicating. They're stuck inside the kill box. They are getting a lot higher. I want how big this is gonna get but look at the loot oh my god so realistically with this right now you could easily do eggs cactus and water gun part and then it would also be very easy to combine that with a craft connector to actually craft the water guns and you would have your water guns done as well but we'll get to that i just want to see if this farm actually manages to sustain because right now this is actually wild and could actually be an xp farm as well but right now <laughs> but right now we just want water guns part so so far nothing is getting stuck no monos are escaping no loot is getting out of our walls this is kind of perfect granted it's very big but i actually think this may be okay for console as well because that loot is being absorbed so fast there's no way that's succeeding console floor limit but i do think this might be getting a little bit out of hand look at all those monos but yet yeah, not a single mono has escaped no stuck loot no loose loot and we are also also claiming the loot from the green monos as well because that absorber setup is working perfect you will see here when that green mono dies the egg off it goes and that will just be taken down and collected in the same way the rest of the loot is okay so i'm just gonna leave this to run for a little bit let's just see how out of hand this gets because they are getting very high up i'm a little bit worried about how close they get into the edge i don't want any loot to start escaping or monos to start duplicating outside of our walls so this is definitely gonna have to just be left alone for a while and see what happens but realistically if you are a mage you could stand next to this sending in some spells which would also make this an xp farm but we will come back to that so i'm gonna leave it like this for a little bit and let's just see if anything breaks so while these monos are dying faster than hyperscape i just want to take this opportunity to tell you about the kaz gang discord server we are not only an active and friendly gaming community of over a thousand people but it's also the go-to place for craftopia information we have places to hang out and meet new friends a dedicated craftopia section where you can chat check out builds from the community enter giveaways and of course keep up with all the content and events come join us meet the kaz gang the link will be down in the description below or you can just type kaz gang or craftopia into the discord server search but back to the video oh no my spawner died how i must not have got the levels right but these are still going great look how many there are and yet we haven't had a single bit of wasted loot no escaped monos look at it now we could lower this amount by removing the two sprinklers inside and just having one that would mean there won't be quite so much height so maybe if you're on console definitely go down that route but so far this is great in fact it may have been a good thing that my monos died on the spawner because now 
now they're still just duplicating but it's not going to get too out of hand because it should only slowly go down now instead of keep going but if you get those levels right you could do this forever in fact it doesn't look like it's slowing down whatsoever oh my god look at it this is amazing i am genuinely very happy with this i mean we will leave it for a little bit longer to see if anything breaks but right now this is a huge w oh it is actually starting to go down a little bit now but then it does very quickly rise back up so maybe this will never stop even though the breeders are off because it genuinely does go right back down and then just goes right back up again which is possibly an even better outcome than i even expected okay so i think it's safe to say nothing's getting out so now just out of curiosity i'm actually gonna send in some attacks i one of them oh my god look at the loot Oh my god, look at it all. And they're still just duplicating up. This is great. Now, I'm just going to try and have a very quick cheeky look inside. Oh, look at all of this. And that was only going for one night. And of course, depending on what platform you're on, you could go multiple of these. You could do whatever you want, but that's pretty insane. So then let's say we're done with the water gun parts, but we still need to do the water guns. So then I'm actually going to place down a floor. I think I'm going to go one back about here. Get rid of this one. And then let's put a skilled blacksmith about here now because this has now been updated we can actually put a craft connector on the back of here which should connect up to that beautiful and now we're going to set this to infinitely make the water guns and remove the floor now let's get ourselves a dropper on the edge of there we should shoot it back inside oh my god so now when the parts are collected and it reaches up to 50 it will just shoot it straight out of the bottom and back into the container which would replace all the water gun parts inside with water guns but of course water gun parts can stack up to 400 whereas water guns are single so you may want that shooting off to its own storage but either way this is unbelievably cool so now what we would do is throw our monos back on and boom there we go now i'm a little bit curious if it would work better with our own pets so i'm actually going to bring in a sprinkler say here and we'll bring out the prince mono now we'll wait for the sprinkler to start and we'll throw ours out wait for him to appear get a duplicate bring him back in boom now those monos are going that's only two i think they may die there we go they're duplicating so now these are just small monos oh and it's working perfect look at them dying they're making water gun parts how are you getting stuck now the thing what's happened is the two absorbers have now synced up their times causing the items to get stuck in the middle so an easy fix for that is let's just bring in a third absorber why not so we'll put an absorber straight in the middle which should completely solve that issue so now i'm just going to travel to make those timings sync up okay so now everything's running at the same time let's go back with our prince mono and let's try that again come on come on get the duplicate beautiful bring him back in there we go there we're off we got a couple more going in this time as well let's head on in with our drone now we should see absolutely nothing get stuck now it isn't really building up with these monos so you may need to send in a couple of pets it is getting there but when the sprinklers stop they do die down a little bit so if you want to get a lot more of these monos just keep throwing your pet down a couple of times get them duplicated duplicating going in once you've got a good stack it should remain the same or just do the breeder tactic like i did at the start but that may be a little bit crazy if you're on console but there we go now everything is being absorbed i know we don't like absorbers but with a kill farm this large the last thing we want is to send all of the monos towards that container using conveyor belts because the moment they start to duplicate they will 100 escape so this way allows them to be on a static floor so they can wander around a little bit but they won't get far and the loot is continuously collected so let's try and ramp this up a little bit because these guys aren't really getting too crazy so let's get a couple more prince monos down here get him out bring him back and we could technically just stand here and every time our pet resets we could just throw him down to add to that stack so we've got two stacks over there now so yeah you could essentially do this as many times as you think is uh, suitable for your platform but we're getting a couple of stacks going so i'm just going to keep doing this for a moment and hopefully we should get a good amount going without needing the breeder as well so that's about four prince monos that i've done and we've already got a lot bigger of a stack so now i'm just going to stop and i'll see if that self sustains at all and as you can see the speed has picked up pretty dramatically we've not gone too crazy they're all still very small monos and look at all the water gun parts this is insane 
I'm very, very happy with this. This is an awesome, awesome farm. It does need a little bit tidying up, removing any unnecessary builds, figuring out the best way to do it. So I will do all of that and then I will get a guide out. I think it's pretty safe to say my water gun parts and my water guns are going to be done in my picture book after this. So I will get a guide out for the perfect version of this farm within the next couple of days. And that will be a farm that will work on all platforms. So no matter what, you can take advantage of this as well. Now, I really hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please do drop a like and subscribe. I'm going to be doing way more episodes like this where we just trial and error builds. It's what I spend most of my time doing, so I may as well record it as well. In the next episode, we're probably going to be tackling some of the decoration within the main base. Remember to join the Discord. All the links are down in the description below. But most importantly, enjoy the rest of your day. Stay safe, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace!